Have you ever seen a bird so brilliantly blue that it almost glows a rich purple? No? Then it's time to meet the indigo bunting. This colorful species is widespread and common, a summer resident of the eastern two-thirds of the United States. It winters in Mexico, Central America, and Cuba, with small populations overwintering in southern Florida and far south Texas. They can be found in a variety of habitats, including hedgerows, wood margins, and orchards. The male indigo bunting is a stunning brilliant blue. Winter males have a more relaxed appearance with a female-like brown head and back. Early spring and first-year males can have a mottled blue and brown appearance as winter feathers are molted and shiny new blue feathers take their place. The male does the singing as he establishes and defends his territory while trying to dazzle a prospective mate. His song is a warble to sweet, sweet choo-choo, sweet, sweet choo, and here is a short sample. Female indigo bunnings are a subdued brown, just right for remaining hidden when on the nest. The nest is a cup of leaves, weeds, and bark and is lined with finer materials. It is placed low on a tree or a shrub. Indigo bunnings usually lay three to four eggs, pale blue in color. The young hatch at about 12 to 13 days and fledge at about 9 to 10 days, though remaining dependent on the adults for some time. Male indigo bunnings sometimes have more than one mate within their territory. There is only one similar species to really be concerned with, and that is the blue grosbeak. The blue grosbeak is larger than the indigo with a heavier bill. Males have brown wing bars. Female grosbeaks are similar to female indigos. Look for the larger size and heavier bill. The lazuli bunting of the western U.S. is similar in size, but the males are distinctive. Females are very similar. The lazuli has a blue rump and more diffuse streaking on the chest and can appear lighter overall. There's a limited range overlap in the central United States. Indigo bunnings will visit bird feeders for niger, but generally prefer to feed on the ground. Millet is a favorite, feed on the ground or a low platform feeder. Bunnings are more common along the edges of larger sections of undeveloped land, but may show up almost anywhere during migration. Visit the birdzilla.com website to learn more about the indigo bunning. It is also featured in our app, America's 50 Most Beautiful Birds. Until next time, happy birding!